What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we've got our upper body workout. This is going to be a video in a three-part series, so stay tuned for the next videos. Let's get to it. Thanks for watching No Problems Fitness, the channel where you can come and find exercise tutorials and home workout innovation. And all that means is just unique workouts that you can do at home that you may not have thought of and things that you can use around the house for equipment. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and consider subscribing so you can stay up to date on all the good workouts and exercise tutorials. And here we go. All right, this is the first video in my three video series. Now I've got an upper body video, a lower body video, and a total body video. And the upper body and lower body and total body, there's a little bit of core workout exercises in there. So I didn't really include a core day, but I will come out with a core video in the future. So let's get to it, upper body, here we go. Now the first exercise that we're gonna do, we're gonna do pike push-ups. Now, pike push-ups are very easy. All you have to do is get down in push-up formation. First off, don't forget your yoga mat. Keep your knees and your joints on something soft. I've got a link in the description if you need to buy one. Just maybe 10 bucks on Amazon, have it in a couple days. Here we go, pipe push-ups. We'll give it, get the standard push-up formation and we're gonna walk ourselves up and we're gonna kinda bring our head down. Try to keep your legs as straight as possible. If you can't keep your legs straight, working on your mobility or you can always back up a little bit, put your knees on the floor, and then we're going to come down and back up. So if you're working on mobility or strength, you want to keep your head down and then back up. So the closer you come, the more it's going to work on your shoulders. And that's what we're trying to target here with these pipe push-ups. So bring ourselves back up. Then we're going to come down. Back up, spread our hands out about shoulder width apart. So you want your whole body to look like a V shape, upside down V or N, lowercase N like that. And then if you need something, be safe, put a pillow under your head. And then come down and back up. This is going to target our shoulders, our abs, because we're going to keep our core tight while we're doing these exercises. We're going to target mostly our shoulders, our triceps, our chest. So this is an awesome upper body workout exercise. Get in a couple more. All right, and that is a pike push-up. Now you can use that in any shoulder workout routine or upper body workout. The next exercise we're gonna do is a uh, Next exercise we're going to do is a Hindu push-up or salutation, I think what they're called. Uh, again, we're going to get down in a standard push-up. We're going to come down as close as we can to the floor without laying down. So we're going to come down and then push up. So our back is curved. We're going to keep our pelvis down towards the mat, and then we're going to push back up. So go down, push forward, 
and bring your chest out, pelvis down, back up, down, out, back up, down, out, back up. Now those pike push-ups and those Hindu push-ups, I want you to do as many as you can. So we're shooting for max reps here. And I don't want to go too slow because I don't want to burn out and only do a couple. But I want to go fast enough where we can keep a good pace and still get a good burn in because we're looking for some good calorie burn here. So we'll do a couple more of these. Down, out, back up, down, push out, and roll back. The nose target really well your upper body, your chest, and your shoulders, and your back. Now we're going to get Now we're going to get in a uh, little bit of back and core. It's the lower back. We're going to do supermans. And those are easy. We're just going to lay down on our stomach. And then you're going to raise your legs up and your arms up. And hold and back down. You want to focus on squeezing your back muscles and your abs keep your core tight so what we're going to do is i'm going to alter it a little bit so we're going to go up and then let's bring our elbows back focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together and then back down try to get that back in there real good squeeze those shoulder blades together hold it nice and tight Back up, and back down. Give a good couple second pause. Back up, back down. And this is going to hurt really well on your lower back, your upper back, and your core. Get that nice and strengthened and tight. Now we're going to do. Spider-Man push-ups. Spider-Man push-ups. Are another excellent upper body exercise. Spider-Man push-ups are kind of a variation of a regular push-up. Or they're called also called spider push-ups. So we're going to get again standard push-up formation. Don't forget this is uh, our upper body workout, so that's why we're doing a lot of push-ups. So we're going to come spider push-up, Spider-Man push-up. We're going to come down, and at the same time we come down and bring our leg up. Like that. So we're going to come down, standard push up formation. We're going to do regular push ups, but we're going to come down and bring our leg up at the same time. Try to touch your knee to your elbow. Of course, if you can't do a standard Spider Man push up like that, you can get on your knees. And we're going to come down, same deal, bring your knee to your elbow, like so. Now, if you're going to be on your knees doing push-ups, sometimes it's a good idea. You can roll your mat up a little bit like this for your knees. Put your knees on there, give your knees some extra cushion or get a towel. Roll the towel up. So come down and up. One 
fluid motion at the same time. Down, bring your knee up, touch your elbow. And those are Spider-Man push-ups. Next, in our upper body workout, we've got negative push-ups. Now, negative push-ups can be done in any form of uh, diamond push-ups. Any, any form of push-up, you can do negatives in. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a standard push-up. We're going to push up fast, and we're going to come down slow. So we're just going to do a standard push-up formation here. We're going to come down, and we're going to push up slow. Down, push up slow. Same with this one. We're going to want to do as many as we can before you move on to the next exercise. You can shoot for whatever number is comfortable for you and then do one more because you always can push a little harder. The next exercise we've got in our upper body workout are pseudo planche push-ups. These are a little different. Instead of in a standard push-up, our hands and arms are this way. We're going to turn our wrists around this way. Still under our shoulders. And we're going to come down like so. If you need to rest on the floor, that's okay. Because these are a little more advanced. Get your hand off of there because it's shaking, please. And then we're going to push back up. Come down. Push up. Now these are focusing more on your biceps, which is primarily what we're working in this exercise, we want it to focus on our biceps more for the total upper body workout. Now if you have wrist trouble, you can keep your palms from all the way touching the floor. Stand up on your hands like this. And then you can come down and push up. You're really going to feel a good burn in your biceps on this exercise. This is a great at home workout with no equipment for biceps. And that concludes our upper body workout. So we're going to run through it one more time. So we're going to complete a full set of each. I'm going to shoot for 10 of each just to run down the whole workout for you. So we're gonna do 10 reps of each exercise. Now the idea here is to get through this routine without stopping. So if you need to take a break, Supermans are a little bit of a rest. So those are gonna be in the middle. So we're gonna go, here we go. We're going to start with the pike push-ups again. Here we go. Let's do 10 of these. Push-up formation. Bring your feet up into a V-shape. Come down. Don't forget if you need a pillow, if you're not sure of yourself, put a pillow under your head. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, from pikes, we go straight into the Hindu push-ups. Hindu push-ups, standard formation. Down, push out. Really feel that squeeze together. Feels great to stretch. If you need 
to rest your legs on the floor, that's okay, until you can get strong enough to keep your body off of the floor. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, that felt good. All right. So that was our pipe, our Hindu push-ups. Now we're going to do our Superman. Lay on your mat. Stretch out. We're going to bring our legs and our arms up at the same time. And we're going to alter it a little bit. Like I said before, we're going to bring our elbows back, squeeze our shoulder blades together. One. Back down. Two. Now when we're coming up, you want to try to lift your legs up as high off the floor as you can. Really feel that good stretch and squeeze in the lower back. The stronger our core is, the better we can be in our other exercises. I think that's seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, stretch feels good. All right. If you need to take a break, take your rest for about a minute, and then we'll jump back in, get started on our next exercise. All right, next up we have Spider-Man push-ups. So I'm gonna do 10 of these. So it'll be five on each side. Push-up, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go, ten Spider Man push ups. Next we have next we have negative push ups. And remember those are regular push ups. We come down at a normal speed but we push up slow. All right. One, two. If you need to widen your stance up a little bit, if you have, it'll help your elbows out. Okay, let's go. Your upper body is getting a really good workout and we're a little bit more than halfway through so if you need to get on your knees towards the end that's okay do that until you can build your strength up to complete your push-ups normally We're going down normal speed, stopping. Try your best not to lay on the floor. And then come back up slow. I think that's 10.
last exercise is a pseudo planche. Remember, they're a little more difficult. Again, if you need your knees, you can do it on this push-up exercise on your knees. So we're gonna come. All right, here we go. towards the end if you need to use your knees that's okay you can do these on your knees we'll come down back up we're going to try to keep our wrists turned around and I know these are a little more difficult to complete, but it's one of the best bicep exercises you can do at home without doing pull-ups or curls with weights or anything like that. And that's what we're going for at home workouts without equipment. That's what we're doing today. So that is our upper body workout. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. So that is our upper body workout. You're not done. <laughs> you need to do this routine at least twice. Three times would be better if you can make it three times. If you need to lower your reps on your second and third time that's okay do 10 and then do seven on the next round through and then do five on the next round through until you can get to 10 reps on each exercise and then what we can do is add weight to our exercises with a weighted vest if you don't have a weighted vest i've got a video that shows what you can do to use something you have at home as a weighted vest. And I'll leave a link down there in the description and I'll put a card up for that. I hope you enjoyed today's upper body workout. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe so you can get up to date on the next videos when they drop. Please go ahead and like this video hit that thumbs up button for me if you like the video drop a comment let me know what you want to see what muscle you want targeted what you need good exercises for those mu muscle groups biceps triceps legs whatever and i'll put a video together for you i'll work out for that stay tuned for the next video that's going to be our lower body video Thanks for watching.